Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Here with some thoughts on, apparently, the British Boxing Board's decision to revoke the boxing license of Derek Chisora. You know, I admit I'm an old-timer who's followed boxing from the 1970s. Maybe the sport has gotten a lot softer than it used to be. You know, quite frankly, the stuff that Derek Chisora is accused of, right? We'll call it an accusation at this point. I don't think anything's been proven in a court of law, even if it is on film. But the stuff he's accused of, slapping Vitaly Klitschko at a uh, pre-fight weigh-in, um, approaching David Hay after the fight at a post-fight press conference, um, that stuff is so mild. I know the post-fight situation evolved into something a little bit more major. But that stuff is so mild that it's commonplace in boxing for boxers to do things a little bit outside the lines. Um, Adrian Broner grabbed Eloy Perez around the neck during their you know, pre-fight press conference, right, at the weigh-in. You know, uh, Floyd Mayweather grabbed Victor Ortiz around the neck at the weigh-in. We've seen weigh-ins where, you know, guys have literally pushed other guys. I remember one time, I believe Riddick Bo punched Larry Donald at a pre-fight event. We've even had a situation where Mike Tyson bit Lennox Lewis's leg right at a uh, pre-fight event and i don't recall off of those occurrences there being an indefinite revocation of a boxing license let's go one step further you know the post-fight situation if you look at the film of the post-fight situation i know derek chisora did something i didn't agree with he actually left the podium and approached david hay but I think it's quite clear on the tape that as he approaches David Hay, I mean, understand in boxing as in wrestling all the time, potential rivals approach each other, go nose to nose and talk a lot of smack to generate interest on a fight. As he approaches David Hay, David Hay literally hauls off and hits him. He hits him so fast that David Hay doesn't even have time to put down the bottle he's holding in his hand, right? David Hay throws the first punch on Derek Chisora, who may have simply been approaching David Hay to talk smack, to help advertise a possible matchup, an all-UK possible event between the two of them in front of the boxing media. I mean, this isn't the first time that fighters have approached each other. In fact, it's standard advertising for fights to show a machismo shot where the guys are literally nose to nose. And how many times have we seen guys nose to nose talking smack to each other, right? If there's a penalty for things like that, it should be a mild suspension, not a revocation of a boxing license. That's the kind of thing you do when a fighter is found to have loaded their gloves like Antonio Margarito did, right? Understand in boxing, even when you fail a drug test, it's understood that your license is suspended. It's not revoked indefinitely. So I think, unfortunately, Derek Chisora is a victim here. I'm not saying he's a Boy Scout. I'm not saying he didn't spit water in Vladimir Klitschko's face when he entered the ring. I'm not saying he acted totally within the rules. But let's be reasonable here, right? I mean, this is a sport where boxers routinely call their potential opponents names, right? Had Derek Chisora beaten Vitaly Klitschko, he wouldn't have been the first fighter to then fight the other Klitschko.
right? I mean, that's the way the heavyweight division is. If you're going to fight the best, you're going to fight the Klitschko brothers. Vladimir Klitschko was a potential opponent. Derek Chisor approaching, approaching David Hay. You know what? A lot of people want to see that fight, right? So if Derek Chisor is going around being creative, perhaps a bit too colorful, in confronting possible opponents, what you do is you find him. Maybe, if you're really aggressive, you suspend him. You don't revoke his license indefinitely. That's an overreaction. I mean, this is a fight, <laughs> this is a sport where we've even seen fighters bite off a part of an opponent's ear in the ring. And even that fighter was allowed to continue his career, right? I just get the feeling that there's just a bit of an overreaction here because of David Hay grabbing a tripod or whatever and swinging it at Derek Chisora, right? If David Hay did something, Derek Chisora is not the guy who should be paying that price. And if we're going to start throwing stones, let's realize that boxing is a glass house, right? You just had a champion, literally before a fight, get busted early in the morning on a DUI charge, right? And then, of course, that same fighter doesn't even submit urine for a post-fight drug test, right? After, curiously, you know, gaining about 20 pounds after a weigh-in. And you know what? He hasn't even been disciplined. He's kept his title. That's the sport we're talking about. So if you're going to tell me that Derek Chisora just got his boxing license revoked, I'd like to know who did he kill? <laughs> I mean, you know, who's been maimed? You know, what, what exactly did he do? You know, did he load his gloves? Did he stab somebody? I mean, if the answer is no, no, and no, then please give him back his license. Maybe make him lighter in the wallet. Force him to do some community service. Have him talk to some young fighters about uh, how to properly behave. Maybe even have him give a public apology to Vitaly Klitschko for slapping him at the weigh-in. To Vladimir Klitschko for spitting in his face. But please, don't deny boxing fans like us the chance to see Derek Chisora continue his career. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and theboxinggame.blogspot.com where we discuss outside the ring issues. Thanks for watching.